Hey everyone, welcome back to Alvin's Vehicles. So today we're going to do part two of the Battle of the Losers Tournament. Um, so this time we're probably going to run t rounds three, four, and five. Anyways, um, uh, here's a look so far. Sports are in the lead with ten. Tied with... No, they're not tied. Crimson has eight. Wait, no, they don't. Chrome Crusaders have eight. Yeah, they're tied. And, um, Demo Derby also with eight. Silver Speedsters with nine. Um, Nighttime Riders also with eight. Original Castings with six. And it looks like Exotics with six. And they're down to one, though. Just a Corvette, you can see there. Yellow Slammer is barely hanging on with three. And Exposed Engines are out. Anyways, time to start round three. Starting us off at Skate Grom. Nice hit there by Skate Grom as he locks it in. The Nissan's up now. Nice hit there by the Nissan as Skate Grom escapes the track. First up for the Silver Speedsters, it's the DBR1. Nice hit there by the DBR1, but he goes curbside, removes the track buffer. Here comes the Austin Mini Cooper. Nice hit there by the Austin Mini, but he goes curbside too. Here comes Heavy Hitcher to demolish the line. Nice hit there by Heavy Hitcher as he sends the Mini to Oblivion. Here comes the Ford Interceptor Utility. Nice hit there by the Utility and the Aston gets more off the track. Utility bounces back a lot. Here comes the 62 VW Beetle aka Tosser. And the Beetle does not toss anybody but he causes the Aston to flip upside down. And now Heavy Hitcher and the Interceptor are jumbled up. Nice hit. Last car for his team. It's the Corvette for Exotics. He gotta stay alive. Nice hit there by the Corvette as he removes the Interceptor from the track. Heavy Hitcher is sideways but live. And he gets underneath the Beetle which might hold him down. Here comes the Lotus Sport Elise. Gonna cause some trouble. Nice hit there by the Elise and he tosses that beetle up and over. The Corvette makes a recovery with his rear hood popping down and now the Elise is curbside. Here comes the Subaru Brat to get a hit. The Subaru Brat blasts in and the Elise is in an iffy position. The Heavy Hitcher is, yeah, still staying alive. Here comes Rip Rod. Nice hit there by Rip Rod, and the lease gets flipped over. That's going to end it for Yellow Slammers and Heavy Hitchers getting a little more iffy. Here comes the Lucid Air, and also the last audio thing from me sending down Rip Rod sounded a bit weird because I sort of edited it to make it sound clean. Nice hit there by the Lucid Air, but he cannot do anything. Here comes the Mattel Dreammobile, final car for Chrome Crusaders. Nice hit there by the Dreammobile and gets right underneath the Lucid, but can't stay there and goes backwards. After all, it's only like 26 grams or something. Heavy Hitcher moved around a bit. Here comes Speed Bump. Nice hit there by Speed Bump as he takes down the Mattel Dreammobile. I guess it's night time for the Chrome Crusaders. Here comes the McLaren Elva. Nice undercut there by the McLaren Elva as Speed Bump gets finished off. Here comes the heaviest car still alive in this match. It's Sterling. Nice hit there by Sterling as he removes the Elva from the track. Here comes Tortafast. Nice hit there by Tortafast as he goes curbside. Here comes the Jaguar F-Type Project 7. 
Nice hit there by the Jaguar as he takes down Torta fast. And, but now the Jaguar is in some trouble. Final car of the round, the Porsche 918 Spider. Nice hit there by the Porsche as he finishes off the Jaguar and is going to end the round. We lost eight cars and two teams. Let's look at the aftermath. Looking at the aftermath, the top three teams, aka Sports, Crimson Crushers, and Silver Speedsters, lost one down to two. Nighttime Riders stay at two, which brings them up to fourth. Demo Derby, Original Castings both lost one each, bringing them down to one. Exotic stay at one. Chrome Crusaders lost both of their vehicles, and Yellow Slammer lost their the only vehicle that made it past round one. So both of them are out. And here's a look at scores. Yellow Slammer basically were carried through the first two rounds. Because if that Elise wasn't alive, they'd be out of the match already. They got three points, and Chrome Crusaders get eight, which actually isn't too bad. Now we only have ten cars in the match now, and it's only been three rounds. Anyways, now it's time for round four. Up first, it's going to be Skate Grom. And Skate Grom just sort of tries to get off the track. Can't really do it, though. I think it did a little flip. Up now, going to be the Nissan. Nice hit there by the Nissan as Skate Grom keeps its balance, and he locks it in. Here comes the Porsche. Nice hit there by the Porsche, but he can't really do anything. Locks it in. Here comes the Interceptor. Nice hit there by the Interceptor, but oh no, he just flips right over. Ouch. Here comes Heavy Hitcher. Nice hit there by Heavy Hitcher, and he finishes off the Interceptor. Here comes Sterling. Nice hit there by Sterling as he sort of starts getting the Heavy Hitcher removed. Porsche's curbside. Here comes the Corvette. Nice hit there by the Corvette as Heavy Hitcher gets off the track. Porsche is getting more removed. Here comes the Subaru Brat to take a shot. Nice hit there by the Subaru Brat and Sterling's in trouble. Here comes Rip Rod. Nice hit there by Rip Rod and Sterling makes the escape. Rip Rod's curbside along with the Brat. Here comes the Lucid Air. Nice hit there by the Lucid Air and he takes down Rip Rod. Just gives him the over easy. The Brat is now in an iffy position. Porsche is basically off the track. Final car of the round, the McLaren Elva is up. Nice hit there by the Elva and he finishes the round. Nighttime Riders and Crimson both lose one. Let's look at the aftermath now. Only Crimson and Nighttime Riders lose a car. Everyone else stays the same. So Crimson and Nighttime Riders drop down a one on par with the other three teams. Now Silver Speedsters and Sports are now leading by a lot. And here's a look at points. Um... Only Sports and Silver Speedsters get eight, and there's a revision. Nighttime Riders actually got six last time. I don't know why there was a three. So yeah, their score is not as low as it was supposed to be. Anyways, now it's time for round five. Starting us off, going to be Skate Grom again. Nice hit there by Skate Grom as he gets off the track very nicely. Here comes the Porsche 918 Spider. The Porsche just locks it in, sort of. He's curbside, sends quad rod flying. Here comes the Nissan R390. Nice hit there by the Nissan, and he takes a shot at the Porsche and takes him out. Now, Silver Speedsters lose one down to one, and now the Nissan's curbside. Here comes the McLaren Elva to take a shot at that Nissan. Nice hit there by the Nissan, and he... No, the Elva, and he gets underneath the Nissan, and now the Elva's curbside. That's going to be a iffy position. Heavy Hitcher is going to take a shot. Nice hit there by Heavy Hitcher, and he gets them a bit more off the track. Sideways, but still alive. 
Here comes Sterling. Nice hit there by Sterling, and he sort of starts removing heavy hit here, and he's now curbside. The Nissan just lands on top of the Elva. Here comes the C8 Corvette. Nice hit there by the Corvette, and he gets right underneath Sterling and flips him right over like a pancake. His top comes down, and Sterling is finished. He might get righted, though. Here comes the Subaru Brat. Nice hit there by the Brat, but he can't really do anything. Heavy Hitcher's looking iffy. Final car of the round, it's the Lucid Air. Nice hit there by the Lucid, and he takes down the Brat. He just gets over easy, and that's going to end the round. Three cars and one team eliminated. Let's look at the aftermath. Looks like Sports and Silver Speedsters both lose one down to one. They are the only teams that are able to afford to lose a car, and they lost one. And everyone else stays the same except for original castings who lose their Sterling due to an... Very ferocious undercut by the Corvette, and they are out. And here's a look at scores. Everybody is uh, alive is now on equal footing now. Anyways, uh, we're going to initiate the final round of the Battle of the Losers tournament next week. So be sure to see when that video comes out. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.